Hello everyone. In this video, we shall be discussing how to customize report for COPA. Uh, so let's directly go to our easy access screen. This is my easy access screen and uh, in my previous video, uh, we were able to generate our uh, COPA report. Let me just show you again under profitability analysis information system uh, we were able to display nine items actual and in today's video we shall be focusing on k30 report uh, this report uh, can only be generated uh, when we do back and customizing settings okay for that uh, we go to our img screen spro img screen uh, before that, uh, we should keep in mind uh, that uh, our controlling area and operating concern uh, must be there. So, we must set our operating concern first. Okay, okay, S is my controlling area is 1812. And uh, for my operating concern, <clears throat> we'll just go on the back end. under controlling profitability analysis we will just set our operating concern also set operating concern and br18 is set uh, so now we have our operating concern as well as our controlling area set uh, we'll directly go to our uh, information systems Then under this report components, first thing that we need to do is to define form. So define forms for profitability report. So create form and uh, let's give some form name F O R M P A and the structure we want to access access structure uh, that means we need rows as well as common under one axis uh, we only get one of the two so let's create a form so we'll get this kind of structure before uh, changing the structure let's edit our general selection so under general selection we'll give uh, we give elements for opening so the characteristics we want for uh, at the time of execution uh, so what we'll we'll give we'll give a period and we'll give fiscal area we'll also plan to keep our company code okay Also, we want a fiscal year, right? Anyway, so we can fix our company. Uh, that is 1A to 1, 2. And period, we want it to be variable. And enter. Confirm. Fine. Uh, so now the next thing is we need to make our form for report. So let's click on row first. 
enter value field with characteristics under this we'll go to we'll go to value and controlling area currency we'll just check it again Fine. After after this, uh, we will give on what basis uh, we want data. So we'll just enter. We can we have so many available characteristics. We can enter anything. Right now, I have maintained data at cost element level, so I'm just entering. Cost elements. Okay, so we'll just go back and edit our general data selection as it requires controlling area also. So we'll just fill the controlling area. So here is our controlling area. We'll just enter a controlling area. My controlling area is 1812 and confirm. Shall go back to row 1. Value field with characteristics. And then. And try to add cost element. So now I for revenue I need to assign my accounts. So all my cost elements accounts are here. I will just add a revenue account and confirm. I can change I can change my uh, descriptions here. Revenues. Right. Uh, again, click on the second row. Add my uh, value fields with characteristics. Again, I'll add my cost with cost elements only. So we can define uh, these characteristics on the basis of all the available characteristics has, here. So right now uh, we do not have all the integrations. So we are just uh, doing all the settings according to our FI. So let's consider a cost element. Okay, I have not changed the value field. Got the cost elements here. We have we already have cost element here, so let's put down one expense and confirm. purchases then we can change our heading margin analysis and then we can put in formula here we can also put in formula here so let's do that so y1 
revenues are anyways credits and purchases are debits so in in case we put on a formula like uh, y001 minus y002 it will uh, add up the value because negative negative uh, will give us a positive result so we need to add it so y00 plus y002 so this will automatically minus revenue uh, it will automatically minus purchases from revenue okay let's give contribution shin country i will just enter country So this is created now the next thing we can uh, similarly uh, change columns we'll just enter the characteristics so how we want it uh, we may do it on the base of plan and actual indicator Uh, so we can keep actual data in first column, confirm, and uh, then in second column, we can keep plan data. Confirm. And... Uh, the last column we can keep for variances so we can put the formula we'll just plan data minus actual data would give us the variance We'll just so this is our variance column we'll just delete the unnecessary rows and column so this uh, this is just a simple report uh, we have created we'll just save it so after our form pa got generated the next thing we need to do is to create profitability report. So create profitability report. And uh, now we need to define or give name to our report. We'll keep same name or we will just change it by report report pa for profitability analysis and report with form so this is a form and we'll create it Uh, so now we need to, uh, so there are four uh, variables that are available on the basis of which we shall be defining the report. So the first is characteristics. Uh, so under this, uh, we shall assign our uh, characters uh, on the basis of uh, the characteristics uh, lists available. So let's take... Uh, 
as all our FI entries are done on the basis of cost centers, let's let's find that cost center is available or not. We'll we'll select the cost center. See, we do have cost center, so let's select the cost center and let's assign one cost center. Uh, go to variables so we already have variable available uh, period and year we'll keep it as uh, blank because we want to fill it at the time of a report generation then we have output type so in which format we need our report to be generated so we can select as per our needs uh, then last is option execute report and we will save it so our report uh, pa is saved so our report uh, is generated the format is generated let's go and see that uh, we can execute this report or not so under accounting controlling we have profitability analysis under this, we have information system and let's execute our K30 report. So the format is available. Just double click it. We'll get the period. 10-2022 is going on. And let's execute. Okay. So the format is incorrect. 22. So this is the report uh, that is getting generated. Uh, the revenues of 2 lakhs, the purchases of 1 lakh and the contribution that we are getting is of 1 lakh. This is, um, this is the form that we set and the report uh, that we created at the back end. Uh, these are my FI entries that uh, got directly posted under controlling and we are getting this report. Uh, so this is how we can customize our uh, COPA reports under controlling. So that's all for today. Thank you all for listening. Have a really good day.